What's up guys, this is Helder from Digimon World Gamer and we're here to talk about Lord Zed once again. Yeah, Lord Zed was brought back on the recent Power Rangers Dino Fury episode and boy oh boy that was very surprising because I thought we'd never see him again. He got transformed into human, he was purified, how come he came back to life? Uh, there's some theories about how he came back. Because the full episode in English didn't come out, but it, it has come out in in French and some other language. I was unable to to watch it. In fact, I was I I am unable to watch Power Rangers Dino Fury here in Brazil because it, it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> uh, uh, anywhere. Yeah. No, actually, actually, yesterday uh, it was the first day it it, it aired. Uh, the first episode aired. Yesterday on public television, so I might I might as well catch on sometime. <laughs> yeah, but I wish they could, they could go on Netflix so that I could watch reveal stuff like that. But anyway, let's go back and talking about Lord Zed. Uh, so it, it has been revealed on the Power Rangers comics, the Bone Studio comics, which are awesome. <laughs> I wish I could read them because they sold just the first volume volume here in Brazil and they stopped for some reason. It was back when the movie came out, so they never published anything in Brazil. They tried to find some alternative ways to, uh, to read, uh, because importation is out of question. So it's very expensive, especially for a comic book that you could buy for 15 bucks. If you import a comic book, it come, becomes 100 bucks. That's serious. I have lots of comic books here. Lots of Spider-Man Spider comic books here. Which I haven't read yet. They're very cheap. They're like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. They're affordable. But if you want to import books, then they become a little bit expensive and it's not worth it. So that's why I'm waiting for them to publish. I've been waiting for like many years and nothing. <laughs> I might as well find some alternative ways in the internet. But anyway. The boss revealed on the Bull Studio that he became he was uh, an Eltarian, the same race as Zordon, and that he was actually a friend to Zordon. He was one of, one of Zordon's friends, as you can see on this picture, and he was one an elite member for the the guards of the planet, whatever something like that. And he became evil because of the Zeo crystals. Yeah? The people touch the Zeo crystals without action or something like that they become uh skinless like the elders were temple were like that and on on lord Zed's case he, be, he not just became skinless because he also became evil i didn't read the comment i i, I saw some summaries online i watched on this mega power brazil uh, youtube channel to see some reveals and yeah, the Zordo was uh, the Lord Zed was an Eltarian, just like Zordo. But the question remains: If he was an Eltarian, a uh, blue like humanoid, how come he he was totally human when he was purified? Well, the answer is that Eltarians may change their color scheme whatever they like. It was it was shown like that uh, in a, in Eltarian. The Power Ranger comics. She was a um, girl that uh, had a crush on some of the Rangers. I think Adam was in love with her. Oh no, it wasn't school. School was in love with her. <laughs> she became the school's girlfriend, and she was on disguise to 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 check on the Rangers. And she was totally human-like with the uh, the a normal human skin color. But when she was called back to the to the, her Eltarian superiors, she became blue, <laughs> out of the blue. <laughs> she became blue out of the blue. <laughs> so yeah, Eltarians can change their skin colors. So that's it. Lord Zed was an Eltarian after all. He became corrupted. He became human-like. He became purified. And then he came back being yeah, an evil lord resurrecting back in the present day. Oh boy, that's, that's a very nice 
character development up there. Even though it took we we got like twenty years to finally get this revelation, but better late than not they never. Especially for Power Rangers in my opinion, because I'm I'm a Power Ranger fan ever since I was a little kid and I still don't have a deluxe Megazord. I really enjoy collecting Power Rangers toys as you guys can see over there. I have some Power Ranger toys because they're a little bit expensive to collect here in Brazil. Yeah, a little bit weird, weird yeah. because in, in USA you can go into any toy store and buy as many Power Rangers as you like for 20 bucks. They're cheap and affordable, but here in Brazil, uh, an average toy costs like 100 to 200, almost 180 Brazilian reais. Yeah. It might be think oh nah because importation and stuff like that nah and dollar equivalent money and stuff like that but nah economy sucks nah and we fans don't care about that which we, we should could it could be more affordable for us to collect I hope Bandai I know I hope Hasbro does something like that. my my mind goes back when I remember about Power Rangers nah. yeah I wonder if Hasbro could. Think about us and say, oh, let's have a different price for Brazil and let's have a less expensive price. They, I know they, they, if they could, they, they could do, if they could uh, actually make the price go lower, they, they could, but I don't know. I think they could try harder. <laughs> nah, that's my opinion. And also, Bring back the motorcycles, man! I so love Power Rangers on motorcycles. I have, I have the Green Ranger for Lost Galaxy on a motorcycle, and if you guys can see over there, there's a Blue Ranger on motorcycle from Lightspeed. It was the very first uh, Power Ranger toy I got with motorcycle. <laughs> the very first was the flipping hat here in Brazil, but I was very little. I Broke most of them, but when I got a little bit older, like eight years, eight years old, <laughs> like older than just two and three years old, yeah, I finally realized how cool they are and how collectible they are. I got this very awesome blue, blue ranger on motorcycle from Lightspeed, which is very rare to find on eBay. Man, you guys don't don't have. Uh, I don't have idea how hard it is to collect like Speed Ranger, like Speed Rescue toys on eBay, anywhere. I was lucky to find some a couple of years ago. I was very lucky to find this whole collection of Power Rangers, like Speed Rescue toys. They're very, very rare. It's very hard to find like Speed Rescue back then because it wasn't a very popular series from the toy perspective. Because I really like it. I like the games. In fact, the Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue game, which is right here. The Power Ranger Lightspeed Rescue game is the best Power Ranger game ever. In the beat beaten up uh yeah, category. I still have my copy from when I was eight years old. I still don't understand this uh this right here, can you guys see the picture here? Uh, there's some different display on the Rangers bar. I still don't understand why is that. Is it some beta photo or is, is it a secret mode? I don't know. But if you guys know, please let me know in the comments because that was a mystery in my mind from the back in the day until today. Why do they have some different uh, display like here? On the pictures of the game, but I don't know if you guys can see if the camera can focus too much. But if you if you guys see the display, the Rangers off bar, they're very different from the, what they are in the actual game. Might be some lost prototype of the lost beta of the game that might be cool. To see, because I'm a Sonic YouTuber, my I make a living out of a Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube videos. And boy, on the Sonic community, they find secret, secret lost beta all the time. It's they find secrets about the games. Uh, recently, we, they found the very first Sonic the Hedgehog beta that, that was public available on a toy fair. 
man, why do the Hedgehog Committee are crazy about the stuff? And I wish the Power Rangers could be too. If, if I had the skills to go search for Power Rangers games betas and secret content on the games, eh, I would do it. But the Power Rangers series are very strong on the toy line. And yeah, the, the other media just getting started. That's just getting started, like the comic books. Yeah, sure, there was comic books, comic books back in the day, but today they're getting major popularity, and and with cool stuff like like that, uh, the revelation about Lars's identity, identity. So yeah, bring back the <laughs> the motorcycle, and until next time.